Hey everyone, welcome back to the new gaming video. This is the type of gaming video where I talk after the gameplay has already been done. So this is just me talking while the game is playing in the background. Tell me know if you prefer this or the other type that I've posted already. So today I just want to talk about the new game mode Ewok Hunt for Battlefront 2. It has been a different game mode. Um, I wasn't quite sure how I'd felt about it when it was announced. I was a bit iffy on it, I thought, oh, this seems like a bit of a gimmick, can't be that good. But after playing it, my opinion is very different. I know I actually really enjoy it. I've played I played it on the first day it came out and also played it today as well. And it's been a lot of fun to play. Like just the whole setting of it, how dark it is, the fact you've got bare minimum things going on for you as a stormtrooper, it really makes it, it's actually scary, you know? It makes it actually scary to play. Especially when, for me anyway, I'm playing it, so I use headphones, and that means I have all the sound going directly into my ears rather than through the TV, and it means I'm hearing everything a lot clearer. And further away, I can hear the horns, I can hear the Ewoks when they're running around outside or running past me but I can't see them because it's so dark especially when my torch runs out and it is really intense you get you can't help but feel the intensity of the game mode crushing down on you and you actually begin to feel like you're isolated and you are in danger and it is really really good fun it's like it's really unique for you uh, for the battlefront game it's very different from every game mode we've had so far I mean, all the others are pretty much just straight up shoot em, shoot em ups and, you know, that's fine, that's great, that's most of what you want when you get a Star Wars game, especially Battlefront 2, but this mode, it could have failed so badly and yet it didn't, it succeeded so good, and this is just one map, there's only one game mode for it, one map for it, and it is still brilliant, I think if EA are smart and they see how well it's taken, they'll and bring it from a limited time event to a permanent event. Maybe with more maps, you know, different variations of Endor. Maybe even take it from Ewok Hunt to just Hunt. You know, they've got the Clone Wars se uh, season coming up relatively soon. Uh, what they could do is, if they want to take it from the Clone Wars basis, they could introduce a Geonosian Hunt based on the Star Wars Clone Wars uh, story arc on Geonosis where Geonosians are controlled by the Queen. And there's a sort of little parasite that brings them back from the dead, so it's basically zombified corpses. And that could be really cool as well, doing it so that your clone troopers are stuck down in the caves under Geonosis. And you've got them coming after you, of dark. You know, there's a lot of variations on it they could do. Especially with the vast amount of creatures that there are in Star Wars. So yeah, I think that could be a really cool thing if they keep doing that. And there's more maps with more creatures, so more variations on it. But keeping the core gameplay of it the same, you're alone, very little equipment, and it's dark. And I think that's something that could work really well in the future, so I'd be very happy to see that happening. But let's hope that happens. So far, the gameplay, I haven't encountered many issues with it. Obviously, the Ewoks are pretty small, so they're able to hide easier. It definitely works best for them when they go rushing in in groups. So you see big groups of people, or Ewok, sorry, rushing in, so while the Stormtroopers have time to kill one or two, the rest are able to get in and kill the Stormtroopers. Obviously, at the beginning, when there's only two, the best thing is to try and catch them when they're in the dark, alone. And if they find a group of them, throw your little wispy things, burn them, and then attack. And that builds up your numbers, and then you're able to go in and force. So it really is good, and it really makes you think. It's not rather than just a game where it's just kill everything in sight, and take the objective. You've got, I think it's about 8 minutes you have to survive in. 8 minutes with, for most people, no grenades. Flashlight that does run out and then leaves you in darkness for a short time before it recharges. You've not got an objective to take, you just need to survive. So it is really intense in that way and I think they did a really great job of it with this mode. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll, I'll see you again next time. Bye!